Hey guys, I'm doing a fun little project today. Um, I made a couple of these balls over the years, um, just kind of for fun. I uh, watched a couple YouTube videos and somebody was weaving one out of paper and I was like, man, I'd love to uh, see if I can make that out of leather. And then um, I guess this was back when our daughter was about one and uh, this workbench used to be in our apartment. And I wanted to be able to get a little bit of work done during uh, when she was around. Um, I don't know if anybody, if you have a one-year-old, you know what I'm talking about. And so I made this ball while she was napping. Um, and the goal was that I could just put this on the workbench and she would play with it on the workbench a little bit while I made a wallet and sent it out. Um, but of course, she went straight for the, um, the needles and um, the scissors and all of the, the dangerous things. But... Um, it killed my fingers. I I'd, I'd made the proportions were too small. They weren't the strips weren't quite long enough for the size of the ball. Um, so I want to try and make another one today. Um, I have some strips cut out from some bracelets that weren't quite the right size. And so this is what I'm going to use. And um, I have a plan. I'm going to uh, I'm going to soak them a little bit. Maybe that'll be easier on my fingers. And uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of the process and hope you enjoy it. All right, thanks. So this is just regular water here. So I add water to the leather just to soften it up. Um, otherwise, it'd be really stiff. This specific leather is pretty thick and stiff, so uh, it's really helpful. And uh, these are really fun to make. So you use six pieces of leather, uh, but you can make them with... Um, paper or other materials and um, basically you take five of them and you form this little star and you just um, every time it the strip will pass over another strip you, it just goes over under over under uh, it takes a little bit of practice I guess to make sense of but um, you know I think with, if you have a little bit of time you, you'll be able to figure it out um, so five of them you use to make this star and then that sixth piece of leather you make it into a complete circle so you can either glue it rivet it stitch it or, or whatever so here's my little rivet press and i made it into a complete circle then what you'll do is you'll take that back uh, to your star pattern and you tuck kind of the far piece of leather underneath there uh, so it helps to kind of lock everything together um, and here, if you, once you get those in there, you'll have five on the interior of your ring, and then you'll have five pieces of leather on the exterior ring. And um, you kind of keep, I don't, I'm not sure how to explain this, but you kind of, um, basically the leather needs to go over and under every time, and then you'll, you kind of get this pentagon pattern, and then the other spot, the other intersections will have a little triangle uh, pattern so it should switch off from pentagon to triangle pentagon to triangle and uh, here you can see my copper rivets that I use I kind of use those as a when I'm not quite ready to set a rivet um, I'll just use the those copper things to kind of hold it together help me play with it a little bit and then once I'm sure of it then I set the rivet and uh, starts coming together you can see my jumbled mess eventually worked out for me. And then here I'm trying to hide the rivets. I was trying to get them underneath the different pieces of leather. Um, but there it is. Hey guys, I, I just finished um, the one that I was making there. And uh, my fingers are feeling okay. Uh, but it was definitely too small. Again, the strips weren't quite long enough. So here was that first one. And then here's the second one. Um, I'm going to make another one. I think if I make the strips just a little bit longer, uh, it'll look better and won't look like a brain. Um, and it'll be a little bit easier on my fingers. Um, so here I go. Stay tuned.
Hey guys, I did it. Uh, here's the final product. Um, here's the first one that was too small. And then here was my second attempt that I think was a little too small. Here's the original one that I made. And then here is the final one. And uh, it was much easier uh, when I made the pieces of leather just a little bit longer. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't have any plan for these balls. I just uh, was making them for fun. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I uh, appreciate your support. Uh, of course, um, do a thumbs up or subscribe if you like my videos. I'm Derek. This is Werther Leather Goods, and I make everything right here in Norfolk, Virginia. All right. Thanks, guys.